Hi, Nathan Ritter from CardioGage.com. I'm a cardiologist in New York. Today, I'm going to try to answer the question, what's a better treatment for heart disease, whole food plant-based diet or STAT? It's a question I get many times throughout each year. I will meet a patient in the hospital after a heart attack, and we go through the process with medications and stenting, and afterwards, we talk about what to do to prevent this from happening again. Medicines are an important part in this process. Among other meds, I recommend statins because these have been proven to decrease the chance of stroke and heart attack and also shrink cholesterol plug up. You can check out my atorvastatin 2 video and atorvastatin versus rosuvastatin smackdown video for some more info on that. I also recommend a whole food plant-based diet for my patients with heart disease. Most obviously, societies that eat a whole food plant-based diet are basically devoid of cholesterol buildup in arteries. Check out the China Study, one of the greatest books on nutrition of all time, where Dr. Colin Campbell explores the reasons behind the extraordinary heart health of the rural Chinese. Anyway, during this conversation with my patients about medications, diet, and other lifestyle choices, the patients or their companions express fears about statin medications. Worries about liver failure, muscle damage, dementia, diabetes, and corrupt drug companies are among the most common and many people also just want to avoid medications if at all possible. So the question is, what can we expect when a person wants to avoid a statin and instead do a whole food plant-based diet? What does the science say when statins square off against salad? First, let's talk about statins. In the drug company funded studies, they clearly showed a decrease in chance for heart attack, stroke, and stenting. In the super important lipid trial from 1998, funded by Bristol-Myers Squibb, mortality in patients without statin was 14%, and with pravastatin 40 milligrams per day, the mortality was 11% over six years. And then in the equally important Prove It trial, also sponsored by Bristol-Myers Squibb, pravastatin ended up getting destroyed by atorvastatin 80 milligrams per day. Anyway, I could go blah, blah, blah for an hour here about this specific topic, but the bottom line is high-dose statins decrease the chance of further cardiac events by about 50%. People often ask, does the medication shrink the plaque? Does it clear out the arteries? And the answer is high-dose statins, on average, cause plaque to shrink by about 1% in total volume over two years. So it's a pretty small effect, but indeed, statins can shrink plaque. How about other diseases? Do statins treat diabetes or blood pressure? Do statins prevent dementia or treat sleep apnea? The answer, according to this study, is importantly, no. On to side effects. We all know that statins can cause side effects. They cause, on average, a slight increase in blood sugar, about three points. They have a high incidence of causing muscle aches. About one in five people will have substantial muscle pain from a statin. And unfortunately, there can be severe life-threatening side effects with statins. There are people who have experienced liver failure and severe muscle damage with the medication. Also, in some studies, statins show some decrease in cognitive ability, which is a pretty scary thought. Nobody wants to be um, dumber than they already are. Okay, on to the whole food plant-based diet. That means eating lots of fruits and vegetables and whole grains, legumes, avoiding meat, fish, chicken, pork, and avoiding dairy. Eating this way causes lots of beneficial effects. It decreases the LDL cholesterol. It decreases inflammation throughout the body. It can decrease harmful intestinal bacteria, and it provides many, many very wholesome, healthful nutrients that you otherwise wouldn't get in a standard American diet. So how much does a whole food plant-based diet decrease the chance of repeat cardiac event? Well, in plant-based superstar Caldwell Esselstyn's landmark study of whole food plant-based diet in heart disease, 62% of patients who did not comply with the diet had repeat cardiac events, whereas in the people who ate a whole food plant-based diet, only 10% of people had stent, heart attack, stroke, heart surgery. That's an 84% reduction in events. Other studies, such as the Mount Abu Open Heart Trial, and Dr. Ornish's groundbreaking intensive lifestyle trial showed massive differences in those who adhered to a whole food plant-based diet as compared to those who did not. These studies also included stress management and exercise programs as part of the study, 
so the entire difference can't be assumed to be the result of diet alone. However, all indicators point to the diet as being the big difference maker. Based on these studies, I estimate the decreased risk to be somewhere around 67% with a whole food plant-based diet as compared to a standard American diet. Okay, how about other beneficial effects? The whole food plant-based diet is proven to decrease the incidence of diabetes and to actually treat diabetes if it's present. It can cause a decrease in weight. Patients lost and kept off 18 pounds in Dr. Esselstyn's study. The diet often decreases blood pressure substantially and it can decrease slightly the incidence of some cancers. So how about side effects? Some people feel anxious, fatigued, or weak. With the whole food plant-based diet, it's not for everybody. Um, it can certainly cause a lot of gas and bloating. And vitamin B12 and vitamin D are deficient in a plant-based diet. So if you go all the way with it, you have to supplement with these vitamins. In terms of shrinking plaque, while measurement techniques differ, I extrapolate a decrease in plaque volume of about 4% over two years with the whole food plant-based diet. And while eating healthy doesn't have to be expensive, it takes a lot of thought, planning, and effort to keep costs down. There are a lot of resources out there. I think for most of us, it costs more to eat a whole food plant-based diet than it does to eat the standard American diet. So I'm going to guess it costs an extra $100 per month. Okay, we've been through a lot of stuff. Let's go to the final tally. Decreasing risk for cardiovascular events. Statins, 50%. Whole food plant-based diet, 67%. Decreasing plaque buildup, 1% per two years for statin, 4% for two years for the plants. Decreasing other diseases, statins, no. Plants, yes, a lot. Side effects, for the statins, there are many potential side effects. While it's unusual to have something really dangerous happen, it's possible. If you pay attention while you're eating a whole food plant-based diet, you're not really going to have any major nasty side effects. In terms of cost, the statins went out on that one with a $10 per month cost, whereas with the plants, it might be something like $100 a month. So I think it's pretty obvious. If you're going to choose one thing to do for your heart health, statins or a whole food plant-based diet, you'd be better off choosing a whole food plant-based diet. That being said, I think a person's best chance at doing well after being diagnosed with a heart or blood vessel problem is to eat a whole food plant-based diet and to take a statin. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit like and subscribe for more content. It helps to get the feedback. If you have comments or questions, please leave them below and I'll try to answer them. See you next time.